Anyone interested in a test drive? Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 cars in the Fast and Furious franchise. Before we begin, we publish new videos every day, so be sure to subscribe for more great content. For this list, we'll be looking at cars from the series that are, for lack of a better description, absolutely insane. Whether they're iconic, fast, stylish, or just sound incredible, any car that left a lasting impression on audience members is eligible for this list. Buckle your seatbelt. Make it interesting, Clem. Number 10, 1970 Dodge Challenger RT. Too fast, too furious. Man, it's a fast car, huh? <laughs> First seen in the audition race hosted by Carter Verone and owned by Darden, this car later transfers ownership to Roman and Brian when they decide they need more muscle. Thanks to a half-empty bottle of NOS positioned under the passenger seat, the Challenger helps deliver one of the most famous and quotable scenes in the franchise when Roman ejects his passenger from the car. With a striking burnt orange color, this car is hard to miss and sure to stand out in any setting. Eject those seat on, cuz! It worked! I love this button! Number 9. 1966 Chevrolet Corvette Grand Sport Stingray. Fast Five. This car might only get a little screen time, but it certainly makes a big impression. Dom and Brian are in a spot of trouble while aboard a moving train. Dom steals the Corvette Grand Sport and drives it off the train with a hard landing, but quickly regains control, showing off the vehicle's impressive handling and speed. Dom catches up to Brian, who jumps into the Corvette just before the car he's holding onto gets utterly demolished. Sadly, with nowhere else to go, it proves to be a short ride as the car flies off a cliff. Nonetheless, it goes out in style, making for one of the most iconic scenes in franchise history. Number 8. Flip Car, aka Ramp Car, Fast and Furious 6. The simplest things can cause the biggest problems. Owen Shaw and his crew mean business. Just check out the crazy looking vehicles they employ. In terms of design, this one's a veritable Frankenstein of parts. Despite its minimal, utilitarian appearance, the car weighs a staggering 3,900 pounds. What really sets this vehicle apart, however, is the ramp on the front end, which features a flap that's activated with the click of a button to send cars flipping into the air. We see the devastation it's capable of when Shaw evades the law on the streets of London, driving headfirst into police and launching them skywards, creating obstacles for the pursuers who struggle to avoid the airborne wrecks. Number 7. The 2010 Koenigsegg CCXR Fast Five. When you're a millionaire, have a love of cars, and can afford pretty much anything you want, it makes sense to snake an incredibly rare car. Roman does just that, flaunting his sweet ride and the elusive status it brings with him to his pal Tej. It's with a lot of self-satisfaction that he states that he has the only one in the Western Hemisphere. There's only four of those cars in the whole world. I got the only one in the Western Hemisphere. Tej breaks it to him that there are actually two, and in fact, he's the guy with the other one. Are you serious right now? Man, this is crazy! But hey, when you're talking about a car this cool, the more the merrier, right? We'd be excited just to see one. We can always shine together, baby. Number 6. Mazda RX-7 Feelside Fortune, aka 1997 Mazda RX-7 FD, the Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift. Is everything okay back there? The sound of this car is incredible. It's also breathtakingly beautiful, and most importantly, really fast, with an extremely impressive body kit. And it's just one of the various cars that Han uses to cruise the streets of Tokyo. We can't help but get a little nervous when Han uses it to teach Sean to drift, but thankfully, Sean doesn't wreck it like he does the Nissan Silvia, proving in the process that he's becoming a competent racer. When this car was T-boned by that Mercedes S-Class, fans felt two tough losses. Damn you, Deckard Shaw. Damn you. You don't know me. You're about to. Number 5. The 2014 Lycan Hypersport. Furious 7. Do you realize what this is? Lycan Hypersport? The fate of this gorgeous W Motors car is devastating. It's owned by a prince in Abu Dhabi and resides in a skyscraper. Yeah, we know, it's expensive and rare, but still, a car like this needs to be driven. Nothing sadder than locking a beast in a cage. Escaping Shaw, Dom gets into this sleek automobile, which is an extreme deviation from the usual muscle cars he drives. Time to unleash the beast. Unfortunately, there's not a lot of room in the penthouse for the Lycan to spread its wings, but it astonishes in another way, by getting driven out of one building and into another, twice before slamming into the ground. Number 4. The 1994 Toyota Supra Mark IV. The Fast and the Furious. I know what you're doing. I owe you a 10-second car. 
How could we not talk about Brian's car in the film that started it all? He owes Dom a 10 second car, and this car is it. With a new engine and a new exterior, sure enough, it wins a lot of races for Dom. But towards the end of the film, Dom finds out about Brian's actual occupation. Yeah, this is Officer Brian O'Connor. I'm off duty MAPD. So Dom's Charger and Brian's Supra go head to head. They both narrowly avoid being wiped out by a train, but the Charger is demolished by a truck. Brian then gives Dom the keys to the Supra to escape. Number 3. The 1967 Ford Mustang Fastback – The Fast and the Furious – Tokyo Drift This Ford Mustang appears in Tokyo Drift and is originally owned by Sean's father. After Han's death, Sean brings that old Mustang to life, installing a Skyline GTR RB26 DETT engine salvaged from the Nissan Silvia he'd driven and wrecked in the previous race against Akashi. It was a weird sight for the viewers to see them put a Japanese engine in a muscle car, but it creates one hell of a custom-built speed machine. Sean wins the race and is proclaimed the new Drift King behind the wheel of this unforgettable ride. <laughs> Number 2. The 1999 Nissan Skyline GTR R34 – Too Fast, Too Furious <laughs> This is Brian O'Connor's signature car, and easily one of the most iconic rides in the Fast and Furious franchise. First appearing in the turbocharged prelude to the second film, Brian gives it a paint job and works on it underneath, before using it in a number of races. Unfortunately, Brian is caught after finishing a race thanks to a freaking electromagnetic pulse harpoon fired into the skyline, and the car is impounded following his arrest. It's a real shame the car didn't have more screen time, but Brian would go on to drive more skylines in the series. <laughs> Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number 1. 1970 Dodge Charger RT – The Fast and the Furious Franchise This is Dom Toretto's signature car, and arguably the most recognizable ride in the series. Dom has a connection to it. It was his father's before him, with the two of them working on it together when Dom was just a kid. It's a beast. Perhaps that's why he keeps coming back to it, no matter how many times the Charger gets destroyed. Over the course of the franchise, the car has undergone various iterations and changes. And who can forget the off-road version in Furious 7? When the crew needs different cars in the sixth movie, Dom, of course, picks another Charger, the Daytona. But hey, you can't beat that classic look. That car is really like a cast member of the film, so it has to keep coming back. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo and subscribe for new videos every day.